And you're cooking. Hey everybody, I almost am cooking. This yeah. is Jill for today, and I understand I'm under terribly orange lights. We'll have to suffer through that. Director is here. He's behind the camera. He's holding the camera. He is holding the camera. How are you today? Tired. He's tired. It, you know, we're still kind of recovering. Anyway, today we are making pickled beets. And Actually, we aren't. Jill for today. Oh, you are a big, you are instrumental. You have to slice onions for us. I can't play any instruments. <laughs> so I, I wanted to kind of, first of all, kind of go through what we're going to need for this. We got beets the other day at the pumpkin patch, and maybe you saw that video. If not, you're welcome to go back, a couple of videos. We are going to can, which means farm the kids out, don't let anybody distract you. We have kids? We don't. Um, you know, don't have loud music or the television on. You need to focus, focus, focus. And after seeing this video, you may say, do I want a can? I don't think so. But I'll tell you what, it's one of the most joyous things that I can do, especially when you see those beautiful jars lined up with whatever it is you're canning. And I'll tell you, these pickled beets, they're the best in the world. They are. We had a friend's for dinner and she served pickled beets mm -hmm. and Carl said, I hate pickled I beets. beets. Carl finished about two jars worth of he those did. beets. So. He was a convert. Okay. So, first of all, I want to introduce you to the Bible of canning. Any recipes that you find generally come from the Blue Book, which is brought out by Ball Canning, who've been doing it for like 100 years. Don't alter the recipes. If you want to alter a recipe, you have a county extension board. You call them, tell them the recipe you want to use, Ask them if you can vary it at all. Sometimes they'll allow you to, because really canning is a science. Sweet, sour, hot, cold, uh, tart. Acid levels, Acid base base levels, levels. sugar levels. It, it, there's and if so you do much. it wrong, you're going to end up poisoning yourself. Yeah, yeah, or, or ruining the batch. Right. And you don't want to do that after all the hard work. So after all that is said, let's go over to the stove, and I will show you what you need to do to have yourself ready to go because you need to be organized. You don't want to be in the midst of doing all this and say, oh my gosh, i got to measure sugar. So let's move over here. So I'm doing beets today and I'm doing them in small batches, one pint jars, and I have this nifty little pot I bought last season. It does four pints or it does, I think, six half pints. Perfect for a stovetop, especially when you're doing canning on a glass top stove. So I've got that. I'm going to have some other pots. So this will have the beets in it. And, but over here, I have myself a towel. It's burgundy. It's an old towel and it's burgundy because beets are what color? Director? Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, and you don't, want, you don't want to put a white towel beet on red. here. Beet red. They are beet red. Plus you need a towel to put your hot jars on so they don't crack. So you're going to need a good towel, you know, a towel that's got some oomph to it. You're going to need a canning funnel. This is your little jar lid lifter that you're going to be lifting your lids out of hot water. So you don't want to be doing that with your fingertips. It's magnetic. It is magnetic. Well, here, I'll show you. Oh, it's a miracle. It is. This is a uh, bubble remover from your jar. So you want to make sure all your bubbles are out, and we'll go over that later. I have um, the glass lifters that your jars are going to be in the hot water and you need to pull them out. Again, you need one of those and I've got... Don't these, use your hands. Oh gosh, don't use your hands. Anyway, I have a couple of those just because I do. I'm not sure what I'm going to need, so I have everything. Ladles, have spoons. Tongs for... Tongs. And just a good old spatula. Okay? Okay. So, we are ready as... As far as our workstation goes, we're ready to go. We're going to pause here. Whoa. Oh, what? Did you get in my face? You need to trim oh, those dear. nasal hairs. Oh, gosh. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be back and we'll get started on canning. So hang in there. See you soon. Here we are at the table. I have uh, boiled the beets. I have washed them well and put them in a pot of cold water, let the water come up to a boil. And, you know, really depending on the size of the beet, these took about 25 minutes. And you want them 
they give to the knife, but they're still a little firm because they're going to cook more in the syrup as you get them hot, and then, the, of course, they'll cook in the, the jar as well. So now what I have to do is wait. I know you're going to say, why is she going through all this? Um, so anyway, I'm, you know, going through and peeling off the, uh, the peel. And after I've got this one, I'll show you what I'm going to do. This is why you have a plastic tablecloth and rubber gloves because you will have beet. Your hands will be so red by the time you're done here. Okay, so this one is done. I'm using the director's gloves today because I ran out. And I usually cut these about a quarter of an inch, a little right around there. And these are so slick. And depending on what kind of slice you want, you could do these in quarters if you like. Um, I like them in slices. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start peeling and slicing. And these will go into a, a bowl. All right? And as soon as I am done with all of these, I'll be back and we will show you the next step, which is terribly exciting because that's how we start mixing the syrup and getting those beets ready to, to you know, to pickle. So we'll see you soon. That's well, great. I'm still at it. Um, I've been cutting these for about, what, 10 or 15 minutes, director, something like that. I'm going to pick up the bowl here so you can see how I'm doing. See there? They're nice slices. I, I think, wouldn't you say it's about a quarter of an inch? Yeah. It's about a quarter of an inch. And um, so these make real nice halves. If, if you found something that was really too big, you thought it was going to be kind of hard to get in the jar, you could cut these, you know, cut these in half. But um, this, I think, is going to go real good in a pint-sized jar. And I'm just going to finish up here, and then we will get to the syrup and getting those jars filled. So we'll be back. We're ready now to start the syrup for the uh, pickled beets. In uh, the pot here, I've got some water heating up. And I'm adding some apple cider vinegar. Some granulated sugar. A little bit of salt. And I'm going to get this just pretty much stirred in. And I'm going to be adding, the director took a mandolin this morning and sliced up a whole bunch of onions here for me. And these are going in the pot. You sliced them very thin. Very thin. Sixteenth of an inch, very I think. Thin. Yes, I think that's what it was set at. Thank goodness for mandolins. All right, we're going to get this all stirred up and the sugar dissolved. And this will simmer once it comes to a boil. I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to let it simmer for five minutes. And that will help get those onions uh, to soften up a little bit and get make sure that syrup's all dissolved. And then we will be back. That easy. Actually, you know, I have to say the biggest part of canning, at least for me, is the setup, is the organization, getting everything in place. It was like the uh, peeling of the the uh, uh, beets. It really didn't take long. What are you smiling at behind the camera? Beets. <laughs> but you know what? It's so worth it. You're all saying, oh my God, why is she going through all this? Because I love it. All right, we'll see you soon. So here is my syrup and my onions are nice and soft. And now I'm going to start adding. Oh, look at my beautiful... Look at my beautiful beets. Didn't they turn out nice? Pretty color. Pretty color. Yeah. There we go. Get them all. And everybody into the pool. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to get this down and get it. If you spill out, that could be a hell oh, of a mess. Oh, gosh. Huh? Don't even. Oh, that'd be just. Oh, I can't even imagine. All over a wood floor. Oh, you'd be just, well, that would be it. You'd have to move. We'd really have to move. We can tell everybody it was a red oak floor. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so it says, the, the instructions say, uh, let them sit here until they're hot through. And as I recall last year, I think it was probably four or five minutes. 
You know what's interesting is usually we do this out on the deck because I usually do you know a pretty good batch of stuff at a time. But it's so cold out today that I didn't want to risk doing the deck because you know you get really hot jars and really cold weather. It's a disaster. We've had jars break before, yep. and I didn't want to take that. So I said, okay, I'll just do smaller batches, which is fine. And so that's why I'm in here. And I'm using, I'm using my new little pot, which I can't wait to try. <laughs> All right, we'll be back here uh, real soon, as soon as I get these, uh, these beets hot through. All right. All right okay. We're going to start canning here. Uh, first thing, these jars are very hot. They've been sterilized, and they're very hot because we're putting hot liquid in. Always make sure, and of course I did this before they got hot, always run, ouch, see that's hot, run your finger around the edge of that glass to make sure there, there are no chips, no chips, no chips. Okay, so. I like chips. I know. All right, so we're going to fill this jar and try to get a variety of the. You're going to have beet juice everywhere. Oh, I know it. That's all right. Get in close here. There we go. Try to get a little of the beets and the onion so you have enough to get fair and square all the way through the, the whole batch of jars. Squeeze that down in there. A few more here. It's maybe too much, I'm not sure. I think we're good for a, just a, a little bit more. I see you're using that famous Chinese canning tool. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we, what we want is the juice and the uh, beets up to a quarter inch of the top of the jar. So you have proper sealing. Um, you know, it depends on what you're, you're canning. Sometimes things have to be... Um, half an inch, sometimes an inch. Uh, jams are like an eighth of an inch. That's way up on the lip. Okay, so we're going to pour some of this broth or juice or syrup or whatever you want to call it in there. Give it a second to kind of seep down. Here it comes. Alright, now before we put the lid on, let's get some air pockets out of there. Aren't you using the uh, can? Well, you know, it's interesting. I was watching a young lady on Facebook, and she was using a chopstick. And actually, I think that... Um, Facebook or YouTube? I, I'm sorry, thank you. YouTube, I was kind of concentrating too hard here. And usually I've used this tool, and, and it really is actually very effective. There's nothing wrong with this tool at all. Okay, so we've got ourselves right there, about a half an inch. And this has a wonderful little measuring device here on it. If you want to double check what you're doing here, let's see how do I do it. Here we go. Okay, I see on this end. Yes, we are right on there. And we're going to take a towel with water. Make sure the rim of that glass is perfectly clean. See, you got beet juice on there, so you want to I make didn't sure see it. Okay. You want to make sure that beet juice is totally removed. And then we're going to get one of our lids. Yeah, two actually there. And these I've had soaking in hot water. This year, or actually last season, they said you don't have to boil your lids anymore. Well, I still, I don't boil them, but I certainly do. They're old school. I am old school. Okay, make sure that seal, that uh, lid is on there very well. Then you're going to crank, but you're not going to crank, you're not going to, uh, just a nice firm little um, turn there. You're going to set that aside, and you're going to do the next one, and the next one. And then once they're done, we'll put them in the pot. All so right. See. That doesn't look like a happy Jill for today. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> since you last saw us, what a disaster. Had all my jars uh, filled, put them on my little rack that goes in here, had this filled with water, 
put the jars in here and oh my gosh the water started to rise displacement displacement this did not work because I couldn't get the inch of water over the top of the jars well I couldn't get any water left in them I was it was going to be a nightmare so the director ran out and got into our closet brought out our big pot which I just am like scared to death that I'm going to break the top of this stove but at this point I, I'm stuck I don't think you are. Oh, well, okay. So, uh, where's If the you were using our all-American pressure canner, yeah. yes. Okay. But this is a lot lighter. So, actually, I was lucky I got, actually, another jar. So, I have five quarts in there. I'm going to put the lid on. It is going to get up to a boil. I'm going to reduce the heat so it continues to gently boil. It's got to boil. Just... Kind of like Jill for today. Oh, I'll tell you what, if I could have my signature glass of wine right now, I'd be in heaven. But I can't because I'm focusing. Anyway, we're going to let this, once it comes to that boil, then you set the timer for 30 minutes. Just keep some positive thoughts that the stovetop makes it through this, and we'll see you on the end of this chaotic mess. But, but did I learn something today? The physics of displacement. No worries, mate. Ah, oh, you're so sweet. See you soon, everybody. Okay. Our 30 minutes are up, and it's now time to start hauling these out. This is so hot, I cannot even begin to tell you. Is it boiling? In the water. The, oh, inside the jar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And hopefully, the, you'll start to hear, sometimes they start pinging um, the minute they come out of the water, and that indicating that the lid has sealed. Sometimes it takes longer. Sometimes, my goodness, you barely get them out of the water. And they start to make that wonderful sound. Music to my ears. And you did five of them, right? Right. Pint size? Pint size. Okay. There we are. So... These look beautiful. They you look do. like jewels. What a hassle they were today. But that's okay. Because the next batch, I have enough. Uh, if I had known I was going to use my big pot, we would have done it outside. Because actually, this afternoon, it's, it's pretty nice. Who knows? So tomorrow, I will do the rest of these. And then we'll start on jalapeno jelly, which I know is going to be a lot easier. Okay, I think we're signing out. Director, any parting words? No. Do I get my signature glass of wine? You do. Oh, You've earned I it. I earned it, didn't I? Yep. All right, everybody. Take care. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. And subscribe, okay? Bye-bye.